applied variant T consciousness fields can revolutionize neuroscience. Muhammad Ali Tahiri is the founder of Cosmo Intel Research Center and the theorist behind T consciousness theory. My name is Farzad Ahmad Khanlu, a T consciousness field researcher at Cosmo Intel and faculty advisor at the Samuel School of Engineering at the University of California, Irvine. It's my pleasure to present to you a brief overview of the T consciousness theory. The outline of my talk is as follows. Consciousness theories, T consciousness, T consciousness fields, experimental evidence and results of T consciousness fields, and the theory of everything. Let's start by talking about different theories on consciousness. There are different ways to categorize consciousness theories. One way is to categorize them based on materialistic or non-materialistic viewpoints. Based on materialistic view, matter and energy are the fabric of the universe and consciousness emerges from them. On the other hand, based on non-materialistic view, consciousness is the fabric of the universe and matter and energy emerge from that. Several theories fall under materialistic or non-materialistic categories. However, there are theories that cannot be distinctly fall under one of these two categories, such as orchestrated objective reduction. We can put them in the augmented or hybrid category. T consciousness is a non-materialistic theory on consciousness. T consciousness theory was originated by Muhammad Ali Tahiri in the 1980s. There are many features about this theory that are novel. It covers more than just consciousness. For example, it also covers anti-consciousness and why we should have anti-consciousness along consciousness. Hardware and software in the universe are explained from consciousness perspective. Using experimental evidence, it sheds light on the mind of matter. One of the distinct and unique features is the variable T consciousness field or TCF. It is applied and we can verify it experimentally. There are applications in various disciplines. The impacts on matter and energy are observable. It's applicable even to atoms and quantum waves. It's ap applicable not only to living things, but also to non-living things. Repeatability is one of the great features of TCF. It's open to the public, easy to use, we have unique T consciousness fields. And for each unique T consciousness field, we have unique impacts on the matter and energy. And T consciousness field is the theory of everything. What is T consciousness? Before talking about what T consciousness is, let's talk about what it is not or what it does not emerge from. T consciousness does not emerge from microtubules. It does not emerge from matter or energy. T consciousness is not human consciousness. It is not information. 
it is not measurable, it is not quantifiable, it is not observable, and we cannot quantize that. T consciousness is not God. So what is it? What is T consciousness? T consciousness is the main constituent of the universe. It is waveless. It is frequencyless. Matter and energy are in fact manifestations of T consciousness in the space time fabric. The constituents of the space time fabric, based on different theories, have emerged from T consciousness. Whether it's going to be based on standard model of elementary particles, or string theory, or quantum waves, they all emerge from T consciousness. T consciousness has impact on matter and energy. Based on orc or theory, human consciousness somehow emerges from microtubules. On the other hand, based on T consciousness theory, T consciousness does not emerge from microtubules. T consciousness has impact on microtubules. Therefore, T consciousness is not human consciousness. Some other terminologies have been used in the literature for T consciousness. Whole consciousness, universal consciousness, and fundamental consciousness. Why the term T consciousness is being used in T consciousness theory. Before I answer that question, let me give you an example. Consider an N conductor wire. It has N copper conductors. For an N conductor wire to work properly, we need to have all of those N copper conductors. T consciousness is analogous to a wire with N conductors. Consciousness, intelligence, awareness, insight, wisdom, and management coexist. They are complementary. The integrity and interconnection of all of these capabilities is called T consciousness. It is new emerging terminology based on Tahiri's theory of consciousness. To differentiate it from other theories on consciousness, a T is placed before consciousness. It means consciousness based on the theory of Tahiri. Before providing additional information on T consciousness, let me give you another example. Consider different gauges of copper wires. Although they are all copper wires, they have different capacities. T consciousness is analogous to different wire capacities. However, instead of having different capacities, T consciousness exists at different levels. Quantum waves and strings exist at a specific level of consciousness. Subatomic particles and atoms exist at their level of consciousness. Molecules exist at their specific level of consciousness. Plants have their specific level of consciousness. 
animals have their specific level of consciousness and humans have their specific level of consciousness. Evolution happened for billions of years. However, T consciousness does not evolve. T consciousness manifests at different levels. From the Big Bang or Big Shock, the space-time fabric came to existence and at different times, different levels of consciousness were manifested. T consciousness has outputs and manifestation. In space-time fabric, manifestation of T consciousness as hardware is called matter and energy. Every hardware requires software. Software is one of the outputs of T consciousness. The software and hardware should communicate through information. This information is not a bit. It's not Shannon information. It's not measurable and it's not changing. It's not increasing or decreasing. This information changes the information index in the mind of matter. Based on that, microcosmic is the same as macrocosmic. The information that exists in microcosmic is the same as the information that exists in macrocosmic. It's only the matter of manifestation of that. Now let's talk about T consciousness fields. T consciousness has a subset in space time fabric called cosmic consciousness network. Universal laws such as Maxwell's law are a subset of cosmic consciousness network. Universal constants such as Planck's constant gravitational constant, speed of light in vacuum, are a subset of universal laws. The universal laws and constants come from? From the information exchanged between software and hardware of cosmic consciousness network, which is matter and energy. This information explains the reason for the fine-tuned universe. They all come from the same source, T consciousness. So, Cosmic Consciousness Network is a subset of T Consciousness. Universal laws are subset of Cosmic Consciousness Network and Universal Constants are subset of Universal Laws. The Consciousness Fields are also a subset of T Consciousness. We have two different types of T Consciousness Fields. Invariant T Consciousness Fields and variant T consciousness fields. The properties of materials and energies are coming from invariant T consciousness fields through the information received from software as one of the outputs of cosmic consciousness network. 
why elementary particles have these properties? Why strings behave like this? Why quantum waves are behaving as such? These properties are based on the information received via invariant T consciousness fields. Humans can have impact on matter and energy. How? The information can change the information index in the mind of matter through variable T consciousness fields. When we look at quantum waves, when we look at microtubules, when we look at neurons, when we look at the brain waves and human consciousness, these are all different forms of manifestation of T consciousness at different levels. Now let's talk about experimental evidence and the results of T consciousness fields. To investigate the existence of T consciousness fields, our researchers at Cosmo Intel are following scientific methods. Falsifiability of claims, repeatability, Mertonian norms. However, Science has its own limitations. Science is limited to space time and matter and energy. Science fact is about the scientific study of the effects of T consciousness fields on matter and energy. So science fact is science when we consider T consciousness fields as well. Despite the limitation of science, science fact is not limited to space time or matter and energy. Based on the second law of thermodynamics, entropy always increases over time in an isolated system. In other words, the change in entropy can never be negative in an isolated system. At Cosmointel, we do double blind experiments on the control group and T consciousness field treated group and investigate if Negentropy can be observed. We use the same material in both groups. Both groups are in thermodynamically closed and isolated system. We use the same environment, electromagnetic field, gravity, temperature, humidity, all conditions are the same. And we observe the change in entropy. At the end of the test, we compare the results between the control group and TCF treated group. If we do not observe negentropy, and if p-value is not less than 5%, we say there is no evidence of the existence of T-consciousness fields. However, if we observe negentropy for TCF treated groups and p value is smaller than 5%, we say we have evidence of existence of T consciousness fields. For all the 
experiments that we have done at Cosmo Intel, all of them were double blind experiments. We checked the experimental data and we observed negentropy in all the experiments that were performed. For the measurement of the pH of water, for TLD experiments, for microgravity experiments, the properties of steel, even on photons through double slit experiments and on the cells. We observed negentropy and we observed statically significant test results. So we have evidence of existence of T consciousness fields, but this is just phase zero of our study. We are currently at phase one to explore the varied effects of distinct T consciousness fields. And of course, we have other phases to continue. Theory of everything. T consciousness theory is a multidisciplinary theory. We have done experimental and theoretical research on different types of materials, on the brain, some medical research, different fields in physics and chemistry, astrophysics and cosmology, as well as philosophy. The effects of T consciousness fields on matter and energy were investigated in different fields of study. T consciousness theory includes many things from large scale, which is T consciousness cosmology to a small scale, such as the mind of matter. Therefore, it is the theory of everything. Two of my colleagues will be presenting the experimental scientific research results on the application of T consciousness fields on the brain and evidence for levels of mind at this symposium. I appreciate the organizers of this symposium, the University of Arizona Center for Consciousness Studies and California Institute for Human Science. I would like to thank you for your attention and would like to invite all of you as researchers, scholars, and pioneers in the field of consciousness to collaborate. If you are interested in collaborating in any area, please send us an email or visit our website for more information. We will be exhibiting at this symposium as well. Thank you all so very much. Thank you.